What's up, everybody? Chewy eighty nine coming at you today, and this time we're talking about One Piece chapter ten twenty nine. And let me tell you guys something right now. Wano Kuni is by far my favorite arc in One Piece. By far, number one. Love it. All the chapters, all the anime episodes, everything's just been amazing to me. It's been the best arc in One Piece. Oda is knocking it out of the park with this arc and with this chapter. Just amazing. If you guys could do me a favor and like dislike the video comment down below give me your thoughts on you know what's your favorite arc in one piece is it wano what do you think about this chapter what do you think about everything that's going on so far just tell me give me your thoughts down below subscribe to the channel with more one piece content um it just uh, helps me out uh, if you guys can do that man anyways uh let's get to it so uh we start off the chapter with queen uh queen sword breaking on sanji seems like sanji's got like a power up or something like that and uh here is confirmed because me i was thinking it was a combination of two things obviously his body mechanics have changed and i thought it was like a mixture of that and hockey that broke the sword so right now what we're, what's been confirmed it's not hockey okay it's not hockey it's basically like his enhancements um being an artificial you know being a cyborg or whatever you want to call sanji he's, he's an artificial human or whatever so that's what we understand it and uh basically uh queen is saying that judge told him uh told him about um making enhanced human beings with like you know enhanced healing factor and um you know enhanced physical strength and all that kind of stuff and basically be emotionless you know what i mean and um you know and he was successful with three of the kids well four of the kids right Sanji was made differently. Sanji was made with emotions. I don't know how. It's something with the mom. I don't know. I don't remember. I gotta go back and read Whole Cake Island. But it looks like the raid suit unlocked something, in my opinion. It, looks, it just unlocked something that has always been there. It's just it needed that to to for the finishing touches to turn him into this, which is a hell of a power up. It's great. It's phenomenal. Uh, Sanji battles going forward. I mean, he's gonna be fighting top people going forward in my opinion and he's gonna be a threat right to, to, to anybody like he's gonna be ridiculous on top of that with his hockey and all that stuff sanji yeah <laughs> if you were doubting he was a part of the monster trio which i never did other people did i don't know why um i think their doubts are gone now because <laughs> this is a crazy power up to be honest with you so the thing that's the thing that's important here is that sanji now is thinking about tur him turning into one of his brothers you know what i mean an emotionless person he has nothing to worry about here he know i don't think he understands what's this is something new to him he doesn't understand what's going on so of course he's freaking out he doesn't want to be his brother he doesn't want to be his dad nothing like that you know what i mean he wants to be him you know what I mean? he wants to be human and uh he's just concerned that you know with these changes that are happening that he'll turn into an emotionless puppet basically and just be a murder machine that's not going to happen, right? Um, he just needs to understand what's fully going on here, which I think a perfect opportunity here, and we notice towards the end of this, he starts running, right? And he's running towards a direction. What I think is going to happen here, because the people are moving up towards the, the main floor, I think he's going to run into uh, Jimbe. Um, and I think Jimbe is going to have a talk with him because we've got to remember Jimbe and the Vin Smokes were on Whole Cake Island um, as Big Mom was doing her thing. We don't really know all that happened there. Uh, maybe we'll get some more information on what happened there. And then Jimbe will maybe raise you or something like that. Talk to Jimbe. Said, hey, listen, tell that idiot <laughs> that, you know, the worst that's going to happen to him is like, okay, he's going to get enhanced physical abilities, but he's not going to lose his emotions or whatever the case may be or whatever he's concerned about. And maybe give him a, a better understanding. And then from there, he'll feel comfortable putting on the raid suit and then doing what he needs to do. Um that's how i think this is gonna go and i would like to see the uh enhancements that uh because i think Usopp made some enhancements to the raid suit i believe i don't know we'll, we'll find out um but i think that's what's gonna happen there and uh, very interesting stuff man i mean sanji is right now like going through some things but he'll come out in the end <laughs> he'll be fine so then now we cut to big mom and we cut the big mom and fighting kid and law right now law a uh, kid's having an issue because uh, hawkins is fighting killer i think on the floor below or above or whatever the case may be the issue here is is that hawkins has kids straw doll whatever the case may be so whatever damage hawkins is taking kid is taking and right now what's happening is that kids having throbbing headaches and he just doesn't understand why um and right now uh, big mom is just going in big notice again big mom has no damage on her 
Big Mom has no damage. Okay, they can't do anything to her right now. Um, and that's insane. <laughs> For anybody who was downing Big Mom before, which I never did, I I I kind of understood what Oda was doing with her. Like, if you didn't notice or see the feats that she accomplished and not see her as a threat, you're out of your mind. Big Mom's one of the strongest Yonko, maybe probably the strongest. I'm not going to say she's the strongest. I'm just saying, like, she's ridiculous. She's very durable. She doesn't take damage, and she just can fight all day, right? The only Her only weakness is her hunger pains, right, which could happen here at any minute. Uh, but if it does, they're really fucked. To be honest with you, uh, and they don't have an they don't have anything to stop her basically at this point. Um, but yeah, an interesting battle here. Um, what's interesting about this is that these battles are wrapping up, right? And my thing is, is I wonder what's going to happen here with Big Mom. Um, my opinion is, and I'll get to the kill the hog and the last of us second, but I just want to talk about this for a second. What I think is going to happen with Big Mom here, I think this battle will wrap up once Kaido is announced to be defeated. Okay. That's what I think is going to happen. I don't think she's going to get taken down. I think she's probably just going to give away Scott free. And we're going to fight her another day. Because right now, I don't. there's no damage on her, nothing. I don't see her going down in one shot. Like, that, that's, that'd be ridiculous. Um, she's taking no damage, right? Um, I just don't see it. Um, I think this battle will wrap up towards the end. And then, you know, we won't have a decisive victor. I think this will be like a mutual, okay, this is over with, we're out of here. That's that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe two Yonko go down and the world's in chaos. I, who knows? The internet will go nuts. Um, so right now what's happening is is that kids are uh, getting headaches and all this stuff. And uh, Law is just trying to talk to kids. Say, hey, listen, man, get your wits about you, man. Look, at we're, we're facing a Yonko. We're facing Big Mom. This is serious, man. I need you here, right? I need you to be focused, right? Otherwise, we're fucking dead. You know what I mean? Like, we can't, you know, I can't do this without you, basically kind of thing so you know go up law does his counter shock uh to big mom um it looks like it doesn't really do anything to big mom and uh man i think Hera or the whatever the fire cloud i forgot the name of the fire cloud already does an attack to law and uh, hits law and then mom and big mom just does like a spinning sword attack <laughs> and just launches an attack at the ground and like basically knocks kid down and like law they're both down or whatever and like i said big mom's just smiling she has no damage she barely i mean you can she has some scuff marks but she doesn't have anything like ridiculous on her to slow her down right now like she's just ridiculous so you know, of course, you know, a uh, kid's just monologuing, basically, man, if he can't take down an emperor, man, if he loses here, he's basically a joke. You know what I mean? And, and it's not. Like, what kid needs to realize here is that these emperor, they're, they're, no, they're no bitches, man. They're, they're no joke. Like, they're, they're really strong, and uh, Oda's representing them really well here, and they're, they're in a battle. They're in a struggle, as they should, because these, these pirates are ridiculous. They're ridiculously strong. What he needs to understand is even if he loses here, it's not a bad thing, right? Because he went toe to toe with a Yonko. You know what I'm saying? So he needs to think about it that way. But it is what it is. I understand where he's coming from. He wants to take him down to, to get some notoriety and, you know, be a big time player in the pirate world. So right now, you know, we, we, we cut now, we cut to the killer and hawk and stuff. And no, this battle was just insane. I can't wait to see this in the anime. The anime is going to go hand with this one. Um, so right now, uh, the headaches, we're finally understanding what's happening here. So what happens is like Hawkins is banging his head against the wall. Now, if this were the NFL, they'd probably put him in concussion protocol and be like, Hey, listen, man, uh, I don't think you can go back out there, buddy. You, you have a concussion. <laughs> he didn't pass any of the concussion tests or anything like that. So he's just hitting his head against the wall. And of course, killer telling him to knock it off. Like, dude, I mean, all right, I got it. Like. Um, and we get some banner back and forth, you know, Hawkins is saying you're an idiot, you know, wow, I can't believe you ate the small fruit, you're an idiot, basically, blah, 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 and he's just, you know, Killer's telling him to stop, because, you know, that's my captain, that's my buddy, that's my bro, you know what I'm saying, like, I need you to stop, like, right now, I don't want, I want you to stop hurting him, and put the pain on me, basically, Killer's like, turn me into a straw doll, let kid go, right, so, um, we, you know, we're, we're getting some banner left and right here, and, you know, we're at the point, you know, kills like, hey, listen, release kid, whatever. Um, so then we get to a point where, because, you know, Kilo's explaining, like, he's facing Big Mom right now. He needs all that he can get. 
like you know i mean help me out here help me help you man turn me into a straw doll and we're good man you can torture me all you want just let kid do his thing right so um of course you know hawkins is like hey listen because he reads the tarot cards and stuff and so far when he's been reading he's like this is not going to go well this is going to be in Kaido's favor etc he's just looking at the odds and is like there's no way you can stop these two they're too strong they're too good they're too powerful you know what i mean you guys are done like no matter what like there's no way out of this there's no victory for you here this is all a defeat you will be defeated here and of course you know once that gets said um killers like you know we fought through impossible odds before this has happened right we, we you can't just give up you can't just look at the odds and be like okay listen this is impossible i can't do anything no we got to push through no matter what even though the odds aren't in our favor we still have a chance even if it's nine percent even if it's five even if it's four three two one exactly it doesn't matter you still have a shot that one that percentage point gives you a chance no matter what so that's where they're coming from and that's where kills come from his spirits like really high here so then from here um basil hawkins is ready to do the basically the finishing blow to killer here um you know um and of course as he's reading ready to do the finishing blow killer's like he has a couple of questions for him right so he says what if the pain has nowhere to go right and he's like what he's like you know he says it doesn't matter like, as long as i have the straw dot in me any 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 damage that goes to me goes to him right so what he does here and killer's very very intelligent he cuts off hawkins left arm and the reason why he cuts off hawkins left arm is because kid has no left arm so if the pain if he's cut if he's cutting something that it that it has nowhere to go because okay, basically the pain will go to, if he's cutting his left arm the pain will go to the left arm right so he goes and cuts that and he knows that so he's like if the pain has nowhere to go then he's not going to feel it and from there um once he cuts off the left arm of course you know hawkins i love that by the way i love the big straw like scythe guy attack that hawkins does it's one of my favorite attacks he does so he pulls the annihilation card um, and he's like, you're living on borrowed time. He's, he's ready to finish you off right here. So he goes and brings out the big straw man. He's going to go and do an attack onto, um, on killer, which looks really, really amazing. So of course, that's when he makes a mention that kid doesn't have a left arm and Hawkins is like, oh shit. Yeah, you're right. And he goes, question two, if I remove the doll, how many lives do you have? He says, and Hawkins is like, that's the last one. So he cut the left arm and the doll was in there and then he went and took it out. Right. So, and of course, you know, Hawkins is monologue is like, this isn't what I predicted, basically. And again, it goes back to just because you know the percentages and know the odds, it doesn't make you, it, it gives you an advantage. It does not make you the victor, right? You still got to win. You still got to do what you need to do to, to win the battle. So he pulls another card and, uh, you know, um, whatever, uh, Hawkins does this weird straw attack to try to get him. Killer goes up top and uh, oh, basically he pulls like the straw man's card or something like that. And I don't know what the straw man's card does, basically. Uh, he says the straw man card can't die. Its fate is determined by the cards and it will be revived, basically. So he pulled the straw man's card and um, I think he went and drew another card and he drew the tower. He's like, show me the results of this battle. And he basically, if you look at the card, you got to pay attention to this. The card is a tower, but it has a lightning bolt striking the tower and it's breaking something and something is falling. Okay. Something here is signifying Idol versus Luffy on, on the top floor, right? A lightning bolt coming down and hitting something. Now, something's going to do something to Kaido and this is going to lead to Luffy's victory. This is a hint here. I, I, we're seeing a lightning bolt come down. Who knows? I, I'm not saying it's, it's a, <laughs> a dragon showing up doing. No, 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 no. I'm saying there's something crazy that's gonna happen. It's gonna hit Kaido, and from there, Luffy will probably take his victory. Right? So that's what I think. Um, that's signifying right there. So he pulls the tower, and then later, um, as he's reading this, um, Killer lands the finishing blow. Basically, a sonic blade cuts him up knocks down uh he knocks down um 
Basil Hawkins. Basil Hawkins is now out, out down for the count. He's down. He's done. Then we get uh, a mention. Like we, we get talked about the tower card and what it means. So basically the tower card signifies great change. What's your, um, and then we cut to a bit. Let's just keep reading this. So the tower card signifies great change. An upheaval of the established order. It's hidden meaning indicates the opening of a new path. So basically fate is changing and it has changed already because of what's going of what's been going on so fate has opened a new path and now we don't know where we're going basically it's a whole new thing and this is going to lead to wherever we're going right which is basically victory for the alliance how that's going to be done we don't know i think we got a hint there with the lightning bolt hitting the tower We'll see what happens. And then from here, we cut to, we have a little cut. We go to Big Mom, and then Kid's basically, uh, you know, feeling 100% right now. He's good to go. Um, no longer is Basil Hawkins fucking with him uh, with, the, with the damage that he's taken from uh, Killer. And uh, Basil Hawkins is finally down for the count. And right now, uh, that's it. I mean, that wraps up that battle. So right now, all we have left for battles our Big Mom versus Trafalgar Law and Kid. We have Sanji versus Queen, Zoro versus King, and then Luffy versus Kaido. How I think this is going to go in order, it's going to be, uh, I, like I said, I think Big Mom and Law and Kid and Law are going to wrap up when Kaido and Luffy wrap up. So I think those two are going to go hand in hand. I think the next two battles here are going to be Sanji versus Queen. I think that'll wrap up first. And then we'll go to Zoro versus King because, you know, it's Zoro, and uh, he's, he always gets the best moments, right, between the two. <laughs> so, I think that's how that's going to go, and then we're going to finish up with Luffy versus Kaido. Uh, well, man, this, this arc's getting close to ending. I, I th This has been a wild ride, man. Everything's been hitting here. I got to say the past, like, dude, all these chapters, like, I think the past, like, 28 chapters have been amazing. Um, This chapter's a 5 out of 5, man. This was amazing. Killer got... Killer got some shine. Uh, Killer did what we needed to do here. Um, what a great, what a what a good character, man. Uh, Killer did his thing and beat Basil Hawkins, and this is this is amazing. Anyways, guys, definitely let me know your thoughts down below on the chapter. Um, like I said, if you want a rating, I gave it a five out of five. This was amazing. I loved every minute of this chapter. One Piece. I hate when it goes on breaks. You know, I have to wait two weeks to review it, but that's fine. That's okay. I can wait, man. If I if I'm getting quality chapters like this, I can wait two weeks. I'm down with that. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's just me. Um, but definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, comment. Uh, what are your thoughts on the tower card? What does that signify? Um. What do you think? Uh, how do you think that is? Does it give you a hint on how that battle is going to end? On I think there's a hint there how that battle is going to end between Luffy and Kaido. Uh, do you guys think Big Mom goes down here? I don't. I think there's going to be like I said, once Kaido goes down and everything's in, everything gets announced, I think uh, from there, um, Big Mom will just leave because she's taking no damage basically. I mean, she's taking a few hits, but I mean, I don't think they have enough to stop her. Um, and uh yeah i mean what are your thoughts on the other battles coming up it's basically sanji right now what's left sanji queen zoro king we got big bomb we got kaido that's it and we're, we're getting towards the end of this arc um and what do you think sanji's heading do you think she, you think jimbei's gonna run to sanji and give him some information basically that's what i think is gonna happen i hope that's what happens and we finally get some clarity on what happened with big mom and everybody else um at whole cake island that's it for me, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Take care. Keep reading One Piece, man. Be safe out there. And uh, like I said, please, if you guys can't like, dislike the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more One Piece content uh, coming up. Um, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye.